I do want to let everybody know that's listening. Like, if you guys have any questions about the Atrope ecosystem or anything at all, really, that we've been discussing, you know, I, I hope that, um, you know, you just request to speak and you can ask any questions that you like. Um, but yeah, not if I, I do appreciate the conversation about wall security and all that stuff, but um, I really just want to continue with the, the Atrope stuff for now. Um, probably keep going for you know at least another half hour hour and as long as you guys need to uh or want to be here i have back. a question about a tropa yeah go ahead uh, so um one of the functions of a tropa and i, I want to get some opinions here and some the dynamics involved but if there is an attack, and there will be an attack by, uh, you know, a lot. There's a lot of enemies to Pulse Chain because it is so um, powerful as far as functionality and, you know, the the developers. An attack on Pulse Chain being a bunch of people uh, selling, um, you know, bots, whoever, just trying to destroy Pulse Chain as the basically the only real. Uh, threat to Ethereum long term. How does Atropa? Uh, how can Atropa defend from that? Because I remember Maria talking about James talking about. Um, he, he was very interested in discussing how Atropa uh, protects from a, a bunch of dumping. How does that work with LP? I'm I'm curious what Sunny thinks about that. Uh, I caught half of that. Sum up the question again, real quick. Yeah, basically, right. in a situation where everyone is, you know, like bad actors are trying to dump just to kill Pulse Chain, um, how does Atropa handle that? Uh, so, liquidity positions get stronger, they make more on cells, they make more on red charts. And if you notice, when things go down when they're connected, uh, as you get deeper layer by layer, right? So, like, let's say everything's just following pulse. If you watch pulse and then die and then the tropa and then down, each one of those, when it goes, when the chart goes down, you'll see it. each one will go down less. So, if pulse goes down 5%, let's just say PDI goes down 4, uh, a tropa goes down 3 and then down goes down too. And it might be like a, a 0.1% or, you know, but if no one's trading it, it's just that arbitrage flow, you'll see that we actually go down way, way softer. Okay, so if you have a mass dump of everything that, you know, bad actors would have, and, you know, the bankers have unlimited tether and usdc um you know because they just print it whenever they want to and they bridge it over and try to create wreck havoc what, what how does atropa defend from bad actors coming in because my, my understanding the way maria was talking was is that was the main maybe 80 percent of the reason that atropa was even created was to defend from from attacks like that well, it is, and you can't dump it if you don't own it, right? So, like, somewhere you have to buy in, and when you buy in, you're going to push it up if you're trying to play that game. Um, there's no real routes. There's no, like, if you, if you actually back out and look at the liquidity, all of, all of the tropa, its main liquidity is based off DAI. What's PDI got it right now? Half a million dollars? A million, maybe? Like, there's not a whole lot of liquidity in this whole system for for Tropa, right? Like, and all those other pools, I mean, I'm not going to lie, I own most of them. I own 90 to 100 414 rep pulse pools. I allow people that pass. 414 never makes, 414 has like three or four tokens that they actually hold a rep pulse pool on because they know the math and they know that that's a, it's an arbitrage point, but it holds them back. Like, it's not, them going off of PDI was so much better than going off of Pulse, right? Because Pulse will take everything with it, but Pulse ain't doing nothing. PDI, rock and roll. 
will keep eyes back to my pulse. So when pulse rate actually goes, like, you know, if we're, if we're 200 X from parity right now, pulse is a 2 X tomorrow, then tomorrow we're 100 X from parity, like. Okay, well, let's, let's look at it from this perspective. So at the beginning when prices were almost zero and you had the automatic market maker going and, you know, balancing everything in all the pools, um, basically distributing pulse everywhere and then things grew up. We have all this economic energy um, that, so you know, as... Let me say real quick, mm -hmm, the AMM sure. bot, and I don't know that a lot of people really understand what the AMM bot is. That was a that was a very first block, first blocks kind of thing. Uh, an AMM bot is not like there's an arbitrage bot and an AMM bot. An AMM bot will it's basically a contract that will buy and sell on other people's buys and sells to keep something in line, right? Whereas we just level things out because of arbitrage, and that's profitable traders going from one pool to another. So, like, unless someone can prove it, there's no AMM bots running right now. There's literally just arbitrage bots. And it's just profitable trades that you and I can do manually if they weren't there doing it faster than us. Yeah, I, I'm referring to the very beginning when there was that leveling out of everything, and you basically, I, I, I understood um, that they used Pulse to kind of even out all these pools, or whatever they that's did, true. they just... But early on, the, right? So you have yeah, all that's all I'm talking about. Ethereum, yeah, all early on. Pools. And you can right. see there's so many Uniswap pools now, right? So what they did is, and this is why you can convert KeyWeth one for one with Pulse, and it actually will do it, like, in Uniswap. It's pretty cool when you think about it because you're just wrapping and unwrapping wrapped ETH, except for its native is no longer ETH. It's now Pulse because all we did was copy it, right? So it's this one weird little triangle that creates that. But the AMM bots had to go through and make it so that there weren't million Xs in all of those liquidity pools, right? So they went through and traded the one or two Pulse you know, equal to one or two ETH in an Ethereum pool to get all the tokens out. And a lot of those tokens actually still sit in uh, somewhere in my, in my you know, million tabs is that wallet. But there's a wallet that has a ton of all these tokens. And uh, that was basically so that someone couldn't just go through and get the million X's themselves. Like, they protected the price. Right, so... The point of all this is is that there's so much economic energy to absorb and move around if there's some kind of attack um, and and you know now that I think about it, I mean when you if if say for instance, you create a tether um, because you're you know whoever's running tether and whoever's running USDC, they keep saying that you know we've we, we really do have uh, U.S. dollars that are backing this, and here we do this little test to see if, you know, is it really in the bank there, but they never keep up with um, their audits. So <clears throat> if you have all that extra money, can you bring money in, bridge money in to Pulse Chain and do something with it to cause a problem or not? I don't, I don't see how you could cause any problems because you have to, you have to buy into these things before you can take advantage of them. Right. Okay. So, so I mean, so how? So what is? So I guess you're just uh, people that have bought in, or they have copies. I guess that's the main. The main risk is people that you know have copies um, that they would just once they go up in value, they just come and dump them. That's basically our main risk, right? Right. So I think yeah, that um, for me, when this all started, I think that the centralized exchanges and a lot of those like bigger wallets were um, not copied over, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, no, a ton of money. Like, but like, in a lot of tokens, you look at that, and there's a big percentage of the supply that's just not even in play over here, because they're not going to touch it, their contracts aren't, they, they, you know, 
until they look at it. When they look at it, it would make them look bad to dump it, right? They're going to have to wait till it's a parody and not accept it. But, like, when you look at bad actors coming over here and dumping those tokens, I 100% see the, the opposite side of that. Uh, I look at, I want these tokens out of their wallets and into LP and into play, because once they're in play, they have power and they have worth, right? When they're just sitting in their wallets empty, when there was zero liquidity, right? If there's no liquidity, we all sit on pulse, we ain't got nothing. But the more people put into liquidity, those tokens, the more of them that are in liquidity, the stronger our liquidity gets. Okay, so let's pivot to PDI now. So I, I get, I have these conversations, you know, in Telegram and other places, and it's always thrown at me, well, there's going to be a bunch of people that just dump all their PDI and uh, they don't care about the system, whatever, and they're just going to dump and dump. And there's just, if you look on the chain, there's so much P die there that you can't escape it. Is So how do you well, react really, to that? It's really hard because most people don't understand crypto, period, right? So people keep saying, like, most and most and most. And it's like, there's so little of us that understand any of this, right? So like, if you understand how collateralized loans and maker vaults and all these things work on Ethereum, you have to understand that they still work here. Everything on Ethereum works here. All these vaults work here. Except that you have to use PUS. You can't access them without changing it to a, a Pulse API and using PUS. And then once you do that, you're in. Like, and Pulse is now what those things were. Right? So like, Whenever, it's just another form of arbitrage. Whenever those go out of whack, you'll see people come in and they'll go in through like uh, the balancer vault or the banker vault or uh, like the LUSD guy, the guy that's just like ridiculous. Like he was the first one that was just like, oh, I can just make LUSD, let's go. Uh, he's really, really good at this. He's, he's got a good wallet that I watch all the time. But he goes in and like he'll do it with Aave. And whatever you can collateralize on Ethereum in the balancer vault, you can collateralize here the same way. All of it works. So basically, there's real value backing everything. And if they do want to dump, how does that affect things? Uh, there's the value that we give to it is what goes to it, right? And right now, we don't see that value going crazy and up because the magic hasn't happened yet, right? We need to spread the liquidity to as many tokens as far as wide and interconnect this thing as we can so that when Pulse does go up, all the tokens go up with it, right? Because if your initial chain asset does a 10x tomorrow, most of your coins via a little bit of arbitrage are going to be right behind it. And that would be like real-world Ethereum, 10x. Real-world stablecoins, 10x, right? Like, yes, they will arbitrage that as you go. You won't ever actually see that. But that arbitrage is just adding to liquidity anyway. The little tokens that are now PUF, that are in Uniswap pairs that have not been untapped or touched yet, are going to do Xs with Pulse, right? If we don't interfere and we don't take them out, it does that. So if Pulse is 100x, all of those coins do 100x. Like, the value of everything comes up, and that's all actual liquidity, right? Because if that liquidity is paired to PUF, it's real liquidity. So all of the liquidity from Ethereum at Snapshot, it's here. It's all in PUF. Right, and so we're just waiting for price discovery. Basically, yeah. I mean, if, if you really look at a token and how it works, I mean, the biggest thing 404 taught a lot of us, or me, was like, if you want to put an asset out, a production quality, that was a very well-used term, production quality. It's over 50% of it in firm liquidity. Now, Pulse Pulse X doesn't quite have that, but like it might as well, right? We're on the farm, ain't nobody selling, and there's thousands of us, right? No one can just rug pull it. That was the main, main thing. And if you look at a Tropa P die, in the early days, that was 80%. I think it might have been 100% at launch, but like it was 80 for a while, and now it's 50%. Like 50% of a Tropa is still in firm liquidity, right? Uh, I don't show my own shit, but like token AA, my project still has 80% in liquidity after a year, you know? And then you can look at some other tokens 
they have like 5% in liquidity. And it's like, well, if there's only 5% in liquidity, it doesn't matter how much it is or how much is burnt, you can sell it to zero, right? Where all these other tokens, like a Tropa, nobody can sell these to zero. Literally no one. Not everyone can, like, and, and then when you start to arbitrage it out to, to uh, a thousand other pools, anyone that exits with price impact is just giving their money away right? and, and making everything stronger. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Based on price impact, like, there's a lot of tokens. You can't, like, it's a, <laughs> it's a Thailand saying, Zach, man, no, you can't get there from here. You have to go, like, this way, go through, you know, three tokens to get back to, you know, the token you want to get into with, you know, any decent kind of um, price impact. So, the, and there's... Uh, I, I don't even want to start to get into it right now, but it's just fascinating, like, the web of a tropa. Like, it would be very hard, in my opinion, for anybody to, like, severely impact the system. Even even whales that, that know the paths, like, it's... I mean, they could, but um, it would be... Uh, it, it's not so simple. Like, even, like, if you look at some of the aggregators, they can't, like... If you want to get into some of these tokens, um, 414 tokens that, um, you know, need that, that route through multiple, um, tokens, like the aggregators are not going to give you a good deal, um, in my experience. Like, so it's, it's, um, there's a definite, um, like major game theory aspect that I don't think, um, most people are at all up to speed with yet, and that, which is what makes it so incredible. And I love that you know more and more people are copying it, and that James is like actually begging for it. Hey, what about um, a little bit of game theory? What do you think? <clears throat> you can approach it two ways to kind of start the process. You're saying that everything's connected to pulsing when it goes up because of the liquidity bonding. So. Would it be better if there's like a negative bias towards pulse chain, um, hex, and those other things related to uh, Richard? So is it better to pump P die or is it better to pump, you know, one of these meme coins so that it brings attention and then you start pumping pulse chain? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, so, again, and... Uh, I think a lot of the things we look at are kind of from an RH standpoint as well, right? But the liquidity game is so big, right? Um, we all know the best pool you can be in is a stable with a stable dollar to dollar, no one permanent loss. You just go sideways forever and collect your fees, right? So if you look at like Pulse and Pulse X, that's our biggest pool, and they both are just sideways. Right? They went up to the two, we went down to the three, but like we're just based right around. Our sack price, our one, we're sideways for a year, and that's the best and biggest way to grow liquidity. And it allows people that want to get out to get out, and new people to get in, and DCA, and then, you know, whatever. Um, so I really think that PDI is definitely, like, it's the multiplier, it's the 5,000x, and he just pointed it out, saying, oh, whatever, whatever he said, 5,000 or 2,000 in his tweet today, uh, one of our coins is a 5,000x. Um, wouldn't say which one it was, but it was PDI. Um, that's going to give us more gains, obviously, for the people that want to, I don't know, gamble on shit coins, I guess. But, like, why be a diehard maxi? With, like, anything, any coin you can look at, you shouldn't look at USD, you should flip it to Pulse and just make sure that you're going up against Pulse. And as long as you're going up against Pulse, then you're winning. Right, but I mean, from a game theory kind of way, to pull people in the Pulse Chain system, they will respond quicker and a, a large amount of people, but I guess they won't be very, um, how, how can I say it, substantive people. They're just basically chasing money um, if they go in on a, a meme coin. So if you pump up a meme coin specifically that has a lot of attention and you create a lot of action on the on the blockchain, so that makes Pulse Chain look good. I'm just trying to figure out which, you know, on the other hand, 
you know, if you come in and you just pump up Pulse Chain, everything else pumps up with it, so you get all the attention but uh, from everything. But but when you have the attention from everything, it's hard to kind of, you know, people get kind of confused and lost. But if you have one thing that pumps up and everyone tries to become a part of it, and then and something else pops up, and then another thing pops up, and so it's kind of an orderly kind of game theory perspective. And I'm just thinking, are these... Um, meme coins, these P, P coins, P tokens, you know, maybe that's what pumps first, and then at the end of everything, then you pump up Pulse Chain. But can you, can you, but you can't, actually you can't really pump up P die without affecting Pulse Chain, right? No, you absolutely can't. Any token on top of, like normally a, a coin on top of a coin, like you can trade those coins all day long, and they don't ever change the price of Pulse, right? Because you're actually taking real Pulse and changing it for rat Pulse. You're never actually changing the price of the native asset. We have a special case only because our native asset is now wrapped Pulse, right? Like, we didn't have a pre-sale with Pulse. So we have a whole bunch of uh, stable coins, right? So it's a little bit different. But as far as game theory goes, um, personally, I think that uh, the powers that be are controlling the Pulse and the Pulse X chart. Well, and the other thing, thing too is they want to move it. everything's paired to Pulse. And right now, there's a whole bunch of shit, like shit coins, like dragging Pulse and Pulse pools down. Um, no, that's not how it works. You can't trade a shit coin and change the price of Pulse other than our stables, because we're actually a big enough pair with the stables. That's the only thing that you can change our price with. If you're trading Pepe, you will never change the price of Pulse Chain. I don't care how much money you trade on it. You're trading on top of the chain. You're not trading the actual asset. Yeah, I get that. So then, I guess you can... I guess the best game theory is to is to basically test the market. So you pump up one, see how people react, then you pump up another one, create some arbitrage, you know, it comes down a little bit, you, get you people on the second. It. Right. If exactly. I was our age, right, I'd, I'd pendulum swing back and forth between Pulse and Pulse X and feed everybody in the LP. Just feed them. They get their ink, they do their thing, thanks for adding. We just need to go sideways, and it's a pump, right? Every time it goes up and down on one side, it just it leaves more. It's volume sideways. It just builds liquidity, builds liquidity, all those v ones, all that stuff. It just builds it and builds it and builds it. And I don't think there's a when do we let free and let it go, right? It's a, it's, it's, it, I, I personally yeah. think for reverse engineering crypto, right? I'm, I'm down with what Riggs is talking about. And I think he's actually starting crypto over, but with a stable coin that's not stable to anything else. It's its own stable coin. And then you create everything else on top of that. That's how crypto should have worked, but instead it was Bitcoin first. So I literally think we're halfway back from re-engineering that. And our end goal is a new stable coin that isn't stable to anything else because the dollar is going down in value. So we can't stay pegged to that. We need our own crypto stable coin. So if, you, if, if that's anywhere near right and you think that reverse engineering and start looking at it from that angle, then you see how these LPs just build and build and build exponentially forever, and they just go right to that. I love that. Great stuff, Sonny. I mean, that's a lot. Like, it, it's deep, and, and I do. I really love Rick's pulse trends. He's in here, right? Listen to his excitement. We all had that excitement a year ago, and we did it. We did it. All of us, in, like Christmas time, I think every one of us just burnt, burnt out. Like, it was just too much. <laughs> like, we all still go a little bit here and there, but oh, those 22 hour days were getting rough just staring at blockchain all day. I mean, people, some of us took breaks and we're still fucking going, bro. We're still looking at PRC tokens and trying to make them work and make them move. Um, Everyone's so... Yeah. I, just, I know you know. Uh, I can't dig like a, like a fresh pair of eyes and still have the enthusiasm. So it's, it is nice to have Riggs back and pumping us back up this last couple of weeks because it, it's, right. 
and and prior to that, you know, Nine Iron and, and everyone, like our whole crew, it's pretty small, and we're all amazing yep. and doing the things. It's so good. It's actually intense. Like Zach is so busy with his BFF. <laughs> Everybody has found a little uh, niche, and it's just like everyone that has that conv- high conviction has been super successful. But there's still so much fucking more of it, man. I know you know. It's great. It's, even you, you, but everyone with, with all your high IQs. How, mu- how many fucking PRC copies can you even focus on? <laughs> There's still so many. <laughs> <laughs> I know your body died in the door randomly. randomly. And he made something, I forget exactly what it is. Uh, maybe I'll find it. I'll, if I find it, I'll post it later. But I, yeah. We went through yeah. the last couple of days and made a thousand logos for PRC. Yeah. And upload he's gonna it. He's going he's gonna to upload it. He's going to send it to D Bank in one file. <laughs> it's like, bro, how? Yeah. That'll yeah. be intense. All of a sudden, Rabbi will be full of logos. Oh my God, we're all going to be rich. <laughs> what is that guy uh, doing? <laughs> how can he do that? Yeah, I thought about that all day since he said that. Yeah, yeah so, but, you know, I'm fucking, like, I look at it's been a year. A year? All I've been doing is buying copies, right? And, and trying to, like, get every token I can. And I'll, let me tell you, other one that I just found. Because, like, I'm still trying to, like, wrap my head around the broken I contract. Yesterday right? went in and uh, grabbed another I was scrolling through some stuff and saw one that was still in a year swap and had to be run over so I went and got it, pulled it out, started a little bit. Someone sent me a message that off at me like, yeah, it's at like three trillion dollars a token. I was like, yeah, I put like one pulse with a point fifteen zeros and one and then bought a hundred pulse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it's, it's like crazy now when you look into some of these and you're like, okay, well, okay, the pulse holders, you look at the ETH holders. Like, if you don't know the process, there's just not that many people that even go through that process. You can scan the nine millimeter scan, whatever. You gotta look at, you know, you chuck the contract in the deck screen there. I mean, once you learn the process, it's really easy, but, like, fuck. If you haven't been doing I mean, it, and I'll look, I'll people are working on it. right now is for. One day they're just looking at their D bank and their D bank's up like five grand. It's because some random mm-hmm. copy just suddenly went to parity, you know? That's went to parity and they were supported because people are fucking doing the proposals now with the, the D banks web three shit because I've been teaching them how to fucking do it. I've been doing them myself and, and but I did, I wasn't successful on the Rack Bitcoin one or the PDI one, but then I think it was Richard Hart. Because I was looking into the D-Day proposal that did the the, the Brat Bitcoin one, and it was some dead wallet. And I was trying to go back, but I didn't have time. But it it, did, it started to lead to, to bigger money. But then I just took the words that he used. He goes, even though that it's a fork, because that's what the Ravi guys were saying, and no, it's a fork, like, denied. But anyway, the, 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 the sentence was perfect, and I just used that sentence to change the wording, change the, the, the ticker, and it's approved every time now. And that's why PLUSD now is on Bradley's, because that got approved the other day. And I know you got some of that, and fuck, dude, the guys in that Telegram group have been making progress today. Um, well, so PLUSD, since you can still just go to the contract and mint it. Um, it's going to be a one to one until the Oracle's fixed, though, right? Well, no, so it's, it's literally the same as MV. MV is an unlimited mint, right? But you would only mint it if it was worth it to mint it. No one's minted MV in a month <laughs> because it's so far undervalued because it's actually pegged to gas because it's what it costs exactly. to mint it for a profit, which is actually most stable coins do, right? That's, but LUSD that's what it feels like. and MV are both stable coins to gas. So if you believe in them, you put them in LP and you wait for gas to 10x or 100x. Wait, well, yeah. So, I mean, guess I, I looked into PLUSD a little bit more and, and like, we know that it, it like, because there's this whole thing when, when East, East W forked, right, that, that, that somebody took advantage of that and, and that they still had control at that point. 
um, to change something, right? So they changed it, and that was the last time that they had the chance to change it. But it showed that it showed that attack vector of, of the gas and the gas price being shown as whatever the price of that the new the, the new token was. The same the same thing that we see with wrapped ETH, you know, yeah, wrapped. Yeah, wrapped and, ETH, just, and, and that's why like, like, those lines that kind of reminds me of Gabriel's question earlier. <laughs> so let's say a token came over and built up a huge liquidity and then had the ability to mint. It could then drain out its liquidity and arbitrage all the other liquidities, right? So if someone came in right now and bought a million dollars in Teddy and told it was something that they could mint later and just wrote it out until Teddy did a 10x, their coin would do a 10x with it and they'd be able to arbitrage way more out of it. Oh yeah, fucking easy. I mean, that's, 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 that's more math. You can't deny that. Like, you know, you'll just be <laughs> healthy. And You're already healthy. ready for that, you asshole. <laughs> So it's really exactly. like 20,000 things a day. I'll take them. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still laughing. I even laughed at this today with, with nobody even mentioning it about how you got 200 million from the HOA guys and they're like, just watch out for these guys. It's just a lottery ticket for them. They're missing well, the fucking chance. points, obviously. Yeah. Oh, That's okay, now we, we already... We already won that battle, bro. Like, you know, it's a good lesson in. Uh, hey guys, in path. Hey guys, I do want to. I want to get a little bit to these guys that have their hands up. I think this uh, rich in there may have a question for us. Go for it. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're well. Uh, my question is: uh, I'm literally new into this ecosystem. Uh, regarding the copies of most uh, um, ERC tokens. How how can someone go and look about which one are more likely to to get parity? And how do you guys, if you guys, I think I just heard you guys are looking through that. What is the the um, the process you go through to to look about the, the OPRC tokens to see which one are better, are better have a better chance to get to parity, or do you think every everything will get to parity, or mm -hmm. what? what that was it. To know which one's going to come first is, you know, anybody's game right now. Because the P die guys, we, we got we got trapped with the Tropa. Once that started happening, everyone got rich. Like, we nobody started doing any of the research for anything else. I mean, even now, everybody's only talking about a Tropa. Like, a lot of that research is up for grabs. It really is. So, like, you can go, so go to pulse, pulsecoinlist.com. And what's it, pulsecoinlist.com slash compare. And you can you, you know, click on the difference, click on it twice so it goes to 100%. And then, you're, and then go to the first page, obviously. I'm not on the first page. Let me go to the first. Okay, I'll, send, I'll send the link to it to everyone, but pulsecoinlist.com slash compare. You can start there because a lot of that stuff is right. But, but you can just go on CoinGecko and look at any... ERC token, take the contract address and plug it into, this is what I'm using now, but it's scan.9mm.pro, check that in, yeah. and then you want to check that, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to check that into the, the CA into deck screener, so you want to put those side by side. So another way of looking okay. at it. But, but how do you, how do you investigate what is the mental process that you guys go through to investigate and see if yeah, this token has a better chance to be next and when you go and you look at ethereum tokens you want you know one of three things you want holders liquidity and volume so like go find something over there that needs a chart over here and hmm. For me, I look at those and I come over here and I buy them up and add to the liquidity pools and get the, like five, six, seven different liquidity pools so with arbitrage so that when those people look at their tokens, they came over here and actually saw a chart that was moving with volume and it might be laughable liquidity, but it was liquidity that was growing every day because of our, our swap fees, right? So like... You have to think of it almost like a water pump, and that's just a river of money. 
And if you don't install your little pump and start pumping it over into your river from the big river, <laughs> then it's just a dry river. It, it's really, it's, it's like, like, there's certain coins right now that we need their tokens, and they still haven't come to Pulse Chain. So we need to get them to come over here. And we, so you've got to create those, those on-ramps. You have to create those initial LPs. And then you got to use social shit to get them to come over here. We're so early. Like I said, we found P died way too quick. We didn't do any work yet. It's still up in the air. And when you look at that, uh, so like, P died's only got 200x to go. There's a lot of coins that have a half a million x or 10,000 x or 100,000 x. Oh, I have that list, right? No, no liquidity. <laughs> right. So, the no liquidity ones are the hardest ones to deal with, right? And then there's some that had liquidity before, and they don't anymore. And some people call them the, mint, the, the minting ones because we don't have those oracles in place yet to fix those. I see a future out in a different bull run, in a different zone where, where those things come to come to. And Richard always said they're not going to go to parity. Has a liquidity pool. I can give you, like, any coin that's on Ethereum at this fork in a liquidity pool, you can come here and trade. I can get you any coin you want. Like, I started oh, uh, okay. that. I started can you get me... Can you get, can you get me an FTRB? The teller, the teller token? And I'll, I'll send the thing. Hey, let's get to Andy. Andy's got his hand up. I want to see if he's got a question. Andy. Andy, what's up, man? Hello. Very, very interesting conversation. Um, I just have a question because I've heard <clears throat> I'm in the Atropa ecosystem, but not uh, so much. I, I don't know much. So when... When I hear people talking about dysnomia, <clears throat> excuse me, and that it's a layer two, the idea is to be literally a layer two, like layers two for Ethereum, like base chain, Optimus, or Arbitrum, like that, or is like a concept, or do we know that if it's literally the idea to make a layer two on post chain? Zach, you know this better than I do, but yeah, it'll be on Pulse Chain. It'll be on Pulse Chain. So, uh, yeah, so from my understanding, it's a, it's a layer two, like we all know about layer twos on other crypto blockchains. But Dysnomia is also going to be a, like a game. It's going to be a way to gamify some of these tokens that they've made. Yeah, th that's what also confused me. When, when I heard talks about being a game, and I was like, Again, I'm kind of a simpleton, so it's like, to me, uh, a level, layer 2 is like a blockchain, like a layer 2, like base chain or whatever, but then it's like a game, so I'm like, but is it like a layer 2 then, as I know it, or not? Or, or not? Yeah, so games require a lot of transactions normally, and this, this game, uh, it's been modeled off of, supposedly, um, an MMORPG game, right? And those games, I mean, there's just a lot of things that you can do uh, with your character and swapping weapons and, like, you know, fighting enemies and things like that, and those are all going to be, like, transactions, basically, on this layer 2 that require you know, gas or whatever it may be. And so, I mean, I, I, as far as I understand, these layer twos help keep the, you know, the transaction fees down. And so, the game, the game, we don't know what it's going to be, dude. Like, in my head, it's just buying tokens right now, but, but UX can solve all of that. Like, the tokens can be turned into a game, no problem, but owning the tokens, this is what people are speculating on, is, you know, owning some of these tokens will be in the game, but he hasn't revealed any of that stuff yet, so it's so up in the air. It really is. Once that stuff comes out, though, you're going to be, if you're paying attention, you're going to be there first, so you're not missing out. Has anyone... Yeah, I don't know if anybody else... Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I don't, I don't know if anybody else up here wants to add to that, but that's as far as I know. Zach, dude, your fucking voice has dropped fucking 20 decibels. <laughs> that's a lot of fun, dog. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's early for me. I'm still kind of waking up. <laughs> oh. 
Bro, um, yeah. So, remember early P died days when our decisions were purely based on logos? I'm still there. Like, I'm still there in my head. So, I can't get up. I know, I know what you, you think about LUSD. Like, we talked about this a million times. Fuck, dude. Like, I, 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 like we're so fucking close to figuring this out. It, and all we need is the TRB tokens. If, if Teller exists as a decentralized oracle, we only, we only need 100 fucking TRB tokens and they don't exist on in any pulse chain pools right now. So, well, we had guys like just mooning the token recently, trying to get enough, not understanding that those seven tokens left in the pool will be stretched out to infinity. As you buy it, you're not going to get any more tokens, right? And then like, if I just keep buying it up, I'm going to get 100 tokens. And no, you're not. You have to convince these people to sell the tokens, right? And, uh, like, dude, I really fucking feel like number seven on the bottom of the list on PulseDrawingList.com, it has a logo. The only other logo that I see, right, is Wrapped Ether. Like, why the fuck does LUSD have a logo this entire time? And I, I spent a so lot... What's, of, what is, what's PRB? I don't even know what that PRB, is. PRB, it's the... Tel- here, let's read it one second. Let me say it properly. Teller Tributes, TRB. It's the Teller token. The shit that was copied over, with, right? And nobody has dumped enough tokens. And if you look into it, all you need is... A, if the price is over $15, you need a... You need a hundred of them. If it's under fifteen dollars, there's some math. Sonny, you would know that better than me. You're the math guy. But they, they, that's right. Somebody already it, there was enough coins, and someone tried to get them all. And he he, he hid himself, mooned at the parity because it's, there's no liquidity, right? Um, so the next game right now is to to try it on testnet because we can get the tokens on testnet to see if it works. But then we got to reach out to these people that are holding the tokens, put a little more LP in or something, and be like, hey, you got tokens here to dump. And as soon as some, at least a couple of them dump and we have enough, then we can actually try to fix those Oracle prices. And it won't stop with LUSD, dude. All those tokens that are being minted as ETH's value instead of PLS's value because that's the brokenness, that literally can be fixed. And you guys know we're in like the middle of this zone where there's no oracles and none of this stuff's working properly. But like, just to fix these things, it means parity for all of these things. I mean, that's what I've been working on. Yeah, that's interesting. I haven't really thought about any of that, honestly, and I just don't know really enough about how oracles work on different chains, I guess. I just have no, no clue. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so I really can't speak on that. I'll send you all the stuff, man. Once, once we get it down, I'm still trying to confirm a few things, but we're this close. Yeah, I really like what uh, Riggs has been digging into. Honestly, I woke up this morning and there's a bunch of these voice chat messages, and I was just listening to them before I started the space. Um, just some really, really interesting stuff that he's found with connections to this S die and this hex. Hex guy that created it. Yeah, he I, I really he fucking proved it. Like he had it already. <laughs> I don't know what he's on. <laughs> he killed it. And um, yeah, so like we we all did lose our we'll call it enthusiasm for a little bit because we were just so successful. And we were killing it for what? It's been a year. How the fuck has it been a year? Wings came in and really really shook shit up. Yeah. I was, I've been watching him, Torrent actually brought us in and to listen to him just before he, he got popular, thanks to his spaces or whatever. But that's all you guys, that's this everyone here. And we know, um, you guys have been killing it on Obscure Gems, that guy is watching you guys, he's not watching anybody else. Like how much, how successful is, or how have you have been to have taken control of so much? And we're so decentralized, we're not out there bragging about it like these idiots, right? We're just working. It was so early. It was so early. Like, I don't think enough people realize, enough people haven't looked at a trip. I mean, that's my, like, 
there's so many amazing things going on in the trip, but like there's one one point to me, and that's that like we need to get everybody in here, and then also get people supporting the other builders that are doing um, similar things. Um, and there's already a bunch of them, but um, like we're we're so early. Like I really, I really feel that it's a tough, it's a tough time, and I know so people. Early. I'm watching it. People are are fighting and having a hard time, and I'm so grateful for all the great fighters that are here and that have like, especially first principles in mind, and I um, want to build, you know, not only something solid, but like, I mean, James has said it. He's along the line. He's like in one way polar opposite from Richard, but they both want the same thing. They both want to prove that. They're better, yeah. we're better than everybody else. Like, um, yeah. and if it weren't for a tropa, honestly, last summer, like, I, we would have had a dead fucking chain. Like, and, uh, so that's, that's pretty undebatable. I mean, like, and, and the fact now, nine months later, you know, it, it just, like, I don't feel safer in much other things than, Especially the Tropa tokens, you know, the, the core, and then some other stuff, you know, Sunny's, some Sunny stuff, some Hodonomic stuff, you know, but it's, um, anyway, I mean, overall, we're in such a fucking awesome spot right now. I mean, like, there's going to be fireworks that even, even Rig hasn't, uh, uncovered yet <laughs> Riggs is Riggs is just so captivated on his find right because most people and, and you know RG3 all these guys are talking about us now like they're doing the due diligence they, but they, DD and I'm not going to name the rest of them but these stupid pulsing admins that silenced us all they're stupid right there this is all by design guys because Riggs, or oh, not Riggs, fucking, what was it, Riggs, richest guy, he, he was watching us for a while, he, he realized, he realized our plight, that we were fighting this mini cabal, and if you guys were there early, if you guys were there during the pulse chain voice chats, right, before things got fucked, you, you know that everybody was getting siphoned off to these little groups, right, and, and these individuals were controlling shit. Ah, dude, it was such a fucking battle, but when you guys, when we all came together with the PRC copies, we destroyed that, right? The silent hexagons rose up and destroyed them. 5,000 X for P guy? Is anyone even paying attention? Fuck anyone, dude. They all talk shit about us. Everyone. Fucking P new. Everyone. K. Everyone. Not one. Well, there was the three of them, Axis, Regs, and those other guys. Everybody else called us scammers, the biggest <laughs> scammers ever, the, the longest scamming narrative ever. And Richard Hart has been approving us four times now. Yes. Wow. Uh, oh, hey, so you had your hand up. Go ahead. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I was just going to add a That's comment to that. It's because they didn't get in, and it's because they didn't tell their followers to get in. So why would they? They would have to go yeah. back and say, Oh, hey guys, you missed the 5,000 next that Richard just talked about because I was ignorant. You know, I didn't want to listen to people. That would be the point for that. But the other topic I've been meaning to bring up is because uh, I don't, you know, I've talked to a couple people about this, but the Atropa Dove creating a web for USDC copy. I mean, like, I know they have the USDT with Mantisa, Lilies, blah, 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 but I've yet to see a USDC like actual branch. And I don't know if anybody had any info on that. I haven't seen anything in the logs um, about that, but I know that uh, BFF is going to get 800k in LP with USDC uh, once we get over the... Watch what Riggs brings out. Like I think he's got uh, answers to that. I, I don't know for sure. Like just, just some, hey, I have a hard time. Like I, I pay close attention to every freaking thing he says. And... Um, it, it takes like a few times uh, at least to kind of understand, but yeah, there's definitely plays being made like way behind the scenes um, towards everything stables. 
Um, have, have you been talking about the spark swap to learn? Like how Richard has been like literally interjecting money into our system secretly and nobody knows that. And he was supporting us because we're the best. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't even, nobody even know knows that. Personally, I, I would, I would leave that to... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There we hey go. guys, let's get yeah, let's get. Hold on, let's get down to this last question first before we get into this. Um, Ave, do you have a question that you need answered real quick? You got a hand up, Ave? Yeah. Um, thanks for uh, um, hearing my question. So basically, I heard something about a game, some sort of like MMORPG kind of thing. Like, is there evidence of that? Because uh, when Riggs was talking about it. I thought it was like a game within the code, but someone mentioned it being like an actual game to play. Can anyone shed some light in that? Yeah, so basically the, the Trumpa developer said that they were making a game similar to uh, this game that was really popular in the early 90s. Uh, it's called Discworld Mud. And if you want to go and YouTube that, uh, there's some cool videos that have a lot of information about it. But basically what it is is like a, a text-based MMORPG game, right? So there's not like a bunch of visuals or anything like that. You have to like read um, and then, you know, interact with like what it's telling you. Um, but basically the Discworld Mud game, um, it's like an almost a never-ending game. There's been people playing it for over 20 years. Um, inside the game, there's like different quests and missions that you can go on. You actually can earn real money in the game, um, even today. Uh, so I'm thinking that the dev is going to use this as sort of like some kind of incentivization uh, to pe for people to play the game. Obviously, there's going to be different characters and different guilds. Um, my interpretation from what I've seen in the Discworld Mud videos and then, you know, connecting it to what that's, what's been said inside the IRC chat, um, it just it seems like all these different tokens are going to have a bit of a purpose one way or another, whether it's like you join a guild or you get a weapon or something like that. They're all, some of them are going to have these kind of connectivities inside this second layer. I would argue <clears throat> that it's already launched and that we're in like, uh, we're just waiting on more and more uh, interface upgrades. But like, I mean, He's already told us, like with this discovery, um, uh, discovery holders will have obnoxious powers in, in dysnomia. Um, so it's like a never evolving thing to me, but the whole thing's already begun. Like, uh, um, especially when you think about these tokens, like having, um, more use case going forward, buying them now, you know, at, at low prices in my mind, um, is, is definitely part of the game. Um, and like he's centered on, on BFF. I don't mean, exactly probably talk about like what I, I kind of missed some of the log and I'm, I'm exactly what he said about how BFF will be central. Um, but in my mind, definitely it's, I mean, we're, we're in the foundational f phases and, you know, hopefully we see some like incredible, you know, um, updates and an actual like game, but the game already started. Like it's definitely already begun. And and James is like has said, you know, he's looking at um, bringing in all different kinds of teammates. You know, artists, marketing people. Um, he's constantly recruiting. He's constantly paying attention. He's looking at the top holders of uh, the top wallets of like, um, especially the important tokens and looking at how they behave and giving them special, um, privileges, you know, um, gifting them contracts and, and so on. Like the game's already started it, without a doubt in my mind, but it's, it's definitely going to keep growing, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, but yeah, so far, as far as we know, um, the 666 token supply tokens, you know, the ones that have yeah, the supply of 666, we've, we've been told by the developer that those will have some kind of use where you either you like send some of the token to uh, your enemy, basically, and it'll have some effect on them in the game, right? And 
the dev has also said that the 666 tokens are not really good investments, right? And he's pretty much stood by this for a while, and it's and it's obvious, right? So if you go look at pretty much all the 666 supply tokens, they have very, very little LP. Um, anybody can buy a very, very large portion of the supply with very little money. Um, and the only one that's been different that I've seen so far uh, has been the, the new one that launched recently, which was Discovery. And that was launched with such a large liquidity pool tied to node nukes that nobody, even at the beginning, was able to get much of the supply. Um, because the liquidity was so big, you had to spend a lot of money to be able to get, you know, 1%. Um, and so now the the holder distribution basically is really, really healthy. So everybody has 1% of the token or less, whereas these other 666, 666 supply tokens, you know, some people have, you know, like 6 or even up to 10% of the, of the supply. And they're just a very, very high risk investment because nobody knows who those people are, right? The 414 developer doesn't hold any of the 666 tokens in their wallet, um, at least as far as I know. Um, but yeah, I just want to make that clear to everybody. These 666 tokens will be useful later on uh, in the game, but it's just they come with a high risk because the developer doesn't hold the majority of the supply. They can be overtaken by anybody. Um, besides, really, the discovery token, that's pretty much the only one that I've seen that can't be really overtaken by anybody because uh, it'd be too expensive. All right, thank you. Appreciate the answers. Great insight, man. Um, you're certainly paying attention. Yeah, this is a lot of fun stuff. I mean, I really, I'm super, super excited to see when we get some kind of like uh, front end developed so we can play the game or whatever. I've been looking into this Discworld mud for a long time. Um, and honestly, I want to try to get started to play it because I want to get used to playing some kind of text based game. I've never played a, a text based game before. I mean, I, I feel like kind of like Pokemon. Pokemon is like a little bit of like a text based <laughs> game, I guess. But oh, let me tell you, Zach, let me tell you about the old school text game, bro. Because I, that's all I had. Well, that's sort of all I had when I was younger. I had Zork. You literally needed to know how to spell as a kid. Which you didn't have the internet either. You only had a fucking encyclopedia. You know, like, it, it, what, what was it? Um, and, but you get, like, you're walking your character around, but you also, you go up to them. And you gotta be like, speak. Or did you ever play those ones without without anything, with, like the Zork or Trinity or any of those ones, where you're just like, it's literally just text based. No, I've never even seen it before. Like, so that's why I'm like, oh, I'm I was super curious when I saw this. And honestly, I'll send you the file. <laughs> chat logs, just just reading through the chat logs is like getting me ready for like this text oh, game because <laughs> I'm having to like do it so much recently. That's what I was Dude, no, at. It's beyond like beyond anything. The log in and of itself is like a is is a a big part of it, right? Zach, can you give like insight into like I don't know, um like James keeps referring to um and 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 the the whole archive um, and that like it's a, like a, even a, a sequential or there's an order to the log and that like if you if you post in the log you're making um, almost like a legal statement I don't know if that's the right term for it but um, there's definitely um, some major significance to to the log right. Yeah, well, it looks like you have, like, different characters already. Like, we have this, like, you know, Ruspin Ice Squire, and we have Sheila Jackson Lee, and we have, like, all, all these different characters that he kind of talks about frequently. Um, so, I, yeah, I really don't know how it will all play together and work inside the game. Honestly, I'm still unaware of that. Um, yeah, I can't. I mean, it's, it's just my fault. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who, <laughs> who really understands everything that he Wait. posts. So, like, Trying to go back through the log and find like the Easter eggs and the like um, and and understand it and then make it applicable to to uh, to game theory is like fuck, man. There's going to be just a few people that are like the masters in my mind. <laughs> the best conversations I saw in the IRC recently was um, that person Coffee was in there talking to um, the dev just like yesterday, I think, and they were talking about. 
um, the, the prostitution token mm -hmm. and how it's tied to BFF. And the dev was saying something about, like, how it, it like, uh, let, me, let me find the word here. Um, something about being on, not on target or um, something. Hold on. Keep going. Yeah, I saw in uh, order. In order. In, yeah, he says it's, he's in order. Yeah, yeah. in so dash order. He's trying to do right, right. He right. keeps talking and about it seems that. Like, right, right. Because they did something with the immunity token that they didn't do with the prostitution token. So the immunity token. But what? Oh, so fuck yeah! I'm trying to understand. Oh, because he they basically kept a lot of the supply of the the immunity token, and they, whereas they didn't keep a lot of the supply of the prostitution token. Well, he sold it and, off. And so that they would. It was the same thing. He was selling off a certain amount of supply to boost BFF, and he was trying to continue it and do the same thing uh, with immunity. And like after what happened yesterday. Um, with that huge spike up over like 7,000 and then the sell off and like it dying. I think a lot of people today with the new one were just like, you know, didn't understand what was going on, didn't know. But I think a lot of people bought uh, prostitution that didn't, that hadn't read the log and didn't understand like what the point was. And after what happened yesterday, with the immunity launch today, they're just like, oh, another one? Yeah, I'm, I'm out, you know. And so. But it was all ultimately in my mind was was to um, create that eight thousand dollar floor for BFF that like is the key in his mind. Um, that's why I was getting really frustrated. I was just like, what, are, "Are you guys not like even people that were reading the log weren't into it?" And I'm like, "You guys are big BFF holders. This is supporting you. Like you know, um, and there's also opportunity with this brand new launch token." And yet, everyone's just fading it or cheating it. Like, there was a major G. I watched one guy, he bought in, like, $1,500 worth early, early, in, like, the first 10 or 15 minutes and sold and made, like, 300 bucks. And then, yeah, 300 bucks. <laughs> Bro, when you see those money. opportunities, oh, I saw that just too, seize them. Seize them. Because you, if you can see what she's saying or he's saying, you fucking know what to do, man. And, there's only a couple people that are going to see that. You're talking about stuff that only people that are smart as well. No, I see it as shooting myself in the foot, bro. Like, I've watched it <laughs> countless times in the last two weeks. Where, like, there's this killer momentum going, and then somebody comes in in one fell sleep and makes one big giant red candle, and then a bunch of other news get scared, and they sell off, and the momentum's dead, and the token fails. Like... It's it's sad. Like we're beyond that. We're we're past that at this point in this cycle. Like people just need to have well, be a little less scared and not so worried about a little dip. Yeah. You know, buy some more. Then you know, and like right, right, right. Well, so, um, so like you, he's telling like, us the target. If you're trying to make to money off these, so, like, like, what the like fuck? You're try, if you're trying to make if you're trying to make money off of these tokens, like right now, without understanding the full scope. You're not seeing the, the, the full scope. So, like, the, like I do this too, like, because we can we can run these coins all the time, and, and you can ex you can't expect nothing from this guy. <laughs> He's smart as fuck, right? But and it's well, just a numbers game, and literally, Sunny, it's all math. At yeah, but he it. lays it all out there for us, and it is all math with James, and he tells us like, and that's what's pissing me off is like. We could easily hit those don't, targets if if it weren't for like and this don't, where, try, don't try to like gain a bunch of money off these new tokens. Just uh, bro, get a little bit I'm of it. I'm, and, not, and I'm definitely them, not right? getting rich off it. I'm well, not sure. like, so like I put in I'm not putting in like I'm not no. putting in much money. Like I, I'm uh I'm I'm spread so, out. So what's pissing you off though? What's pissing me off is what like I'm seeing the same thing that's happened with with some other tokens that have launched recently where, like, <clears throat> guys go in and, and they're irresponsible, you know what I mean, for the chart, and also selling themselves short. Like, Richard talks about it all the time. He's like, yeah, you could sell on 2x, or you could sell on a double 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 on a double. We are just getting that across the people. 
think they're fucking traders when they're jeeting a brand new chart. Like it's not really hard to like if you got in and fight in the first five minutes of the chart and to sell the first green candle, you know, for a little bit of profit, not even twenty percent. Like, and think you're a trader? I, no, you're not a trader. You're a every, fuckhead. Everyone knows man. that, man. Everybody, like, we all know that these people work around us. But this is why we started the movement. Along, alongside of all of this winning, we started the movement of learning about LPs, right? It's, it's not an easy battle, right? There's cheats. There's cheats to be dealt with. <laughs> But but it's like people are learning that if we work together, blah blah blah. Look what Solid X did. God, that that whale fire guy. He knows what he's doing, right? He backed Randy, right? You guys know Randy, right? And with Solid X, and so it, if you guys don't all know this, and I'll tell everyone who's listening now that you've been listening for so long, it, it, you're you know Naga Bo, right? Because he he started funding us earlier. <laughs> Well, Naga Bo somehow is cool as fuck with Randy, and they're launching Voodoo Balls or something. Now, I already have the Prodigy bot set to ape that shit. I know, Almighty, I know. But, but that fucking Fire Whale, <laughs> he fucking moons Solid X, and you, I know most of you, except for Sonny. Sonny's probably the only one who bought it. <laughs> so... I'm not fading that next one, and, that, and let's go. I'm going to dump it when it moves. It doesn't matter, because that, that fucking guy, man, he's a whale. Like, and, he, and then he was doing, he was the biggest Pulse X whale. And it's all on chain. you got to look at it, but he fucking got a bunch of ink, and he sold that ink at the top, and he used that to pump Solid X, and he's using it. I mean, the difference Solid between X. that person and, and Maria, bro, is, is that we're, Maria's trying to push us to be a community. That person is just throwing money into a coin. Not hitting on it. I'm You're not right. even going to buy these tokens, but like... He hasn't reached out yet. Literally say, pop my bags, please, Mr. Uh, random Whale. Like, pop my bags. Like, <laughs> no, not that. Yeah, it is trash. I, and honestly, I don't even know who the fuck Fire Whale is. And I hope he comes out one day and it's not just some Randy Hilter Crest friend. But he has, he has shown himself recently. And we have to support everyone. We're not fighting with Maxis no more. The Maxis, they're, they lost. We are the Bro, Maxis now. We're just, we're, the Maxis we're now. still in that phase <laughs> of high fear. Like, everybody's worried that, like, if I don't sell now, somebody else is going to sell in front of me, and I'm going to miss out. Like, there's, we're too short-sighted still, like, and I get it. Like, I get it. Me? Like, I do. The majority of us are. We, yeah. It sucks. Hey, and it will happen. Hey, hey, hey. Again. Hey, B-Roots, sell your teddy bear. B sell your teddy bear. Dude, a lot of us here bought, we bought teddy bear before there was LP. There's some of us that spent 200 grand in P dye on teddy bear. Right? Like, teddy bear is going to moon. It's going to moon. <laughs> it's just because there's a number. It's like, I've seen people that cheated it early. Or not just, it's not just cheated. They fucking... Oh, I hate that word. I hate it. I hate that I, it's become part of my vocabulary now. But if you've been watching yeah. the IRC... And, I like uh, Indians. Yeah, I do too. Uh, you know, I like... Whatever. Anyway, if you've been watching the IRC and what James has been saying about Teddy, like... It's it's going in the moon and like and when you look at the triple system, it, it's the easiest one. Like if I were gonna onboard anybody that like didn't know about you know triple especially, but even pulse chain, that would be the one I get them into because it's a simple, easy moon. It's got a great chart. Like it's not too hard to explain. And then like everybody loves teddy bears. Like you know, cat people hate dogs. Dog people hate cats. But like everybody had a teddy bear. You know, it's it's. <laughs> It's so easy. And then it's a perfect gateway to get them to start to understand, like, what James is trying to do and this larger community that's that's caught on and, and supporting it. You know, like, um, the the safety net is is giant. Like, so it's the, so, it's, but it's so isn't it so weird that everybody has just been, like... <laughs> Well, okay, cat memes caught on because of the Vitalik mom coin 
shit, right? And then it, it this is what it, this is what they do, right? And they just the oh monkey coin, dog coin, do do one after another. Oh, it's fucking bowl season. What's the next thing that can make sense? It's just like be it like this is the Beavis is mindset. It's just like what is this? What is the masses gonna think next, right? It, it is not a bad strategy because it really because he really does cheat at the top. He's the biggest G I've ever seen in my fucking life. Remember, he, he was just showing his hundred k. Yeah. This, this is my this is my joke bag. Hundred k, get a high level. <laughs> I looked at my fucking G bag. I'm like, yeah, I'm seventy k behind you right now. Fuck you. What, what's mm-hmm. good? Yeah, we just need to teach. Uh, we need to teach Blue how to travel through the webs, man. Get him off his uh his teddy bear bag. Get him into the eco. Get him like spread out in between all the tokens, and then uh, he's not a. No, 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 dude, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you right now, b Ruth is a, a teddy bear fucking OG, and we'll, we'll never stop talking about teddy bear, because we got him in at the bottom. He was there at the very he's bottom here, of the right? Tropa, P-Dye, and Teddy, and hey, he ate them all. Hey, you know he's in here, right, bro? Well, yeah, I, I was wondering if that's why. I'm not going to give a fuck. Is that B-Ruth is the man, dude. <laughs> is the man, count. <laughs> B-Ruth is the man, yeah, him, bro. Hey, hey <laughs> it's him. He got me blocked, so I know. He can hear me, though. <laughs> B-Ruth! It's <laughs> the funniest fucking <laughs> shit <laughs> ever, dude. <laughs> we support... We, we were the ones who reached out to B-Ruth. I was the one going like this. <laughs> and making sure that he found out about P-Dot. And he's the asshole that bought it all. I didn't fucking buy it that much. Fucking asshole. Oh, but yeah, he's rich. There's so many really <laughs> P.I. whales. Man. And look where we're at now, though. I've, I fucking oh, love where we're at now. Like, I have... It's I have, insane! Yeah. Dude, keep going. Still, I'm just supporting you. Uh, Trope is still driving the system, and now we got like some awesome support with Sunny's ecosystem. Um, Hot Aeronics, what he's doing, bringing people in off the other chain. Like, that's what got me fired up about the whole thing. Was I, when I first got into P and Atripa in the in like uh, June or July, and I saw how fired up some of these guys were for Pulse Chain that never heard of it before. XRP guys and all over, I was like, here we go. Here here it comes. Like, this is going to be the entry for, like, so much, like, and it's still happening to this day. And now it's even better. Like, we got we got awesome support. Like, you look at what Teddy Bear is playing with now. It's, it's but, beautiful. It's insane, dude. Teddy, from the, like, and if you, you guys just want, for, the, for history, just realize, I want to say this because this is recorded, but the guys that were buying P Dye when it was first launched, they didn't know what the fuck they were buying. They did have the map, and and they saw the LP percentages, right? So the first person that ever did that, I think it might have been Win Win, and that's why, man. Every time I ask, he's like, "Oh, here's my updated list of PRC tokens with their X X potentials," and this whole he just sends it. Thanks, bro. It fills up my whole screen with tabs, but thanks. Yeah, that's what Teddy Bear, man. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear was nothing. It wasn't, there was nothing. When, and honestly, when, when B-Roots went up, when you were buying Teddy Bear, it was nothing. It was a nothing burger. <laughs> and you're killing it, pal. You make a Teddy Bear a thing. This is insane. And we're all, we're, we're almost, making it meta but everybody like yes p Dye is awesome we we already won that fucking battle so and and sunny said this earlier when when i first started we lost our enthusiasm in cr- uh, christmas we we were killing it since may and i'm flabbergasted by it being a whole year in what 10 days has it been a year guys what the fuck <laughs> anyway so like you guys are all like experts. Like you're the best of the best, and everybody knows this. And history will show that you're all the best of the best. Like you, you were there at the beginning, and you saw the real message. Like, but I, I've been listening to all these spaces, all everything that's presented to everybody. <laughs> I mean, 
it needs to be plainly stated that, like, we fucking won. Richard Hart clearly fucking loves us way more than people that <laughs> want nice to be, they just want to be emotional, we bro. We, we did win, bro. We won, yes. No, bro, we... Nah, I want I want Iceman to come up here. Listen, 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 listen. Okay, also we haven't had BFF go to eight. (laughs) We haven't had BFF go to eight K and get injected stables. We have not won yet. That is the mock setup for die. If we haven't done that yet, we we're not shit. Wait for BFF. Over, we're in the rocket. We're in the rocket. We made it. No, we didn't even launch off yet, bro. I'm kind of pissed the last couple days watching what's going on. Like uh, BFF. Yeah. Yeah, BFS yes. is the mock-up die peg. No, fuck no. Oh God, don't fucking judge your emotions off of the price chart of BFS. <laughs> Please. Like, that is not what's going on. There's so much more going on what? than that. Seriously. No, for sure. But that that's the step before die. Like, why no. do you die up to a dollar? No, BFS is yes, not the it's step it's before die. State. It's not. Bro, it is the it's the it's the see if we can do it as a tiny community as a mock up. He's spa- he's literally said it before in the video. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I, I, would I just said he said be up good day. I mean, yeah, that's EK, no problem. I mean, don't even worry about the price right now. Going to EK like in the next few days. It wasn't about the price. It was about uh, a lesson in the community coming together to achieve a goal and to it, fail miserably on a tent. Really? After attempt, after attempt, to the point that like four one four is just throwing out anything because like, new new token like, new tokens yeah, finally yeah. right. Well, actually, you know what's funny? I didn't know that. So, do you think they gave up on it and want to try again? No, the last two days have been all about like new ways of of getting BFF to uh, AK, like moving moving liquidity around, basically buy this. So I can put money in BFF. Like it's as simple as that. We're getting but more. Who's just cheating in... the chart? Who's cheating the fucking chart? Then? Well, is it is it Zach? It's no, it's pizza. It's that's Zach. what it is. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not Zach. Zach's like one of the biggest BFF <laughs> holders. Zach said that publicly. Zach, exactly. exactly. Is that Zach, is that why your voice is over? Yeah, the moment I saw my BFF, I think the, the world is ending, probably. <laughs> the world is ending? What? What are you, right, what are you buying? Are, you, are these buying spring water filters? <laughs> yeah. If you're buying spring water filters, uh, just tell the people and they won't be mad. Yeah, yeah BFF is like a, my last token that I'd probably ever sell in my portfolio, honestly. You can't. Honestly, Zach, like I already know, Zach killed it, bro. He got, he killed, yeah, he called BFF, and a lot of us faded it. They really did. Well, shit. I mean, I, I didn't even find it until two months after it was made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you were like, oh, she's trying to get it to moon, and you fucking killed yeah. it. You, you no, yeah, you I didn't was, just kill it. You clutched it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But also, you, you 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 moved your hometown, and you you moved to where you're at, and you kept the spaces going this entire time. man. Richard Hart watches you, bro. So remember that, dude. No, he's got he's he's got me blocked. <laughs> he gets you blocked because you say stupid things. No, I'm just joking, but <clears throat> it's only only because I made a bunch of memes when Pulse Chain first launched. <laughs> I put Richard Hart's face on them, and I don't think he liked the memes. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got pre-blocked. Dude, Richard had blocked me like yeah. six times. He just, it's okay. <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah. One day, I'm looking for the follow. There's, oh my god, I want to tell you that so much, but ever since we started this PDI journey together, it's, it's been a progression. Right? The trope has certainly got in the way a little bit. <laughs> but it, it was necessary. But we're in the middle of a bull run right now. But we got you guys. Everybody feels it. Like it's not a real bull run because of the COVID into war into Biden and the da da da. It just doesn't feel right, you know. I don't feel like yeah, the bull run the hasn't even started yet. That's the time. Buy when others are fearful. Like that. That doesn't change. Hmm. No, this is the time. It's 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 the most 
most extreme bear market that anyone has ever experienced. Hey, so are we going to do this every Thursday? I feel like that's, a, that's, the, that's the sauce. We need to do this every Thursday. Even if it's just yeah. the talk mm-hmm. shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, if you're in enough Telegram groups or you're here, you're always talking to us. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. But it's just like labeled a trope of discussion. So, like any, like a uh, like Ave or a- Ave, Ave. I think he had a good question. A couple of people had questions. If you follow Zach, um, most of us will always be up in his shit. So, for sure. this is this is kind of where we rally behind, honestly, because Zach kept it going for so fucking long. And look, these guys. Exactly. Like, I want these other guys. Like, usually we all talk. Like a lot more, but when we're in our next spaces, most people are reserved, and most people are like open mic when we're in the Telegram. So, like, once that wants to, wants to bounce, like he could just post uh, one of the main groups that he wants to promote, and we can just continue it there. Sorry, my my phone just fucked up or whatever. Um, yeah, but I would like to continue to do these spaces. Did you guys say something about doing voice chats in Telegram or something? Dude, yeah, that was me. But he was saying. Um, you you do this every Thursday? We could, yeah. Just like I was gonna start to do it weekly. Thursday seems like a good day. Thursday. Third die. It was always a pump day, man. Right. Yeah. Trees is in here, man. Everybody's in here. This is crazy. Well, most people talk in Telegram. Most people don't talk in public like this, right? Because it's re- it's recorded. It's public. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. We need people to see. Yeah. I remember when you Zach could be, used to be I can tell you what they all want to say. We need to bring this Telegram <laughs> energy to X for sure. And Woo! Right. <laughs> I'm here now, bro. Things are really cool. about to pop in my mind. Like between, uh, like there's some really, really smart dudes, uh, and like, and what what blows my mind, what 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 makes me so excited is not just the fact that we got Nine Iron, we got Riggs, we got Holonomics, we got you know Access Alive, we got Almighty, we got you know all these guys, but now. They're all coming together, and Sonny, absolutely Sonny, he's he's up there on that list. Like they're all coming together. Like we're 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 finally seeing. Like we had so much drama go on for a while in Pulse Chain, and obviously there's still definite drama, and that that's its own like good marketing aspect in a way. You know, eyes are eyes, but like there's been some major like coming together some major information coming out like in the last week or two and then like and they're just uh it's just getting like distilled into like a way that can be like really understood and presented and like it ties back to like some of the real crypto ogs i mean not just post chain or hex or whatever but like the real dudes and not not vitalik (laughs) either but like um the guys that you never, you know, that we don't ever hardly talk about much. Um, like there's, uh, there's so much about to pop off and like posting really does seem like central to the whole DeFi evolution. Um, it's pretty undeniable at this point. I mean, we'll just look at X and not <laughs> like for one, one example. Um, it's, it's, we're just getting started. It's going to get more to that stuff the Hexanot guy did. Um, super curious about that, so. Let me some Hex. <laughs> so, BFF is 40% away from 8K, by the way. Where is that knife pump? The last couple of days. Yeah. So let's send it to AK and my G. Yep. That's cool. That'd be what the, the third time we did it. On <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Too bad. Yeah. The devil's asleep. <laughs>
<laughs> Devil sleep. Oh God. Six hour, six hour window of time that they go to sleep. When it hits. But yeah, no, I think that's the best focus for many people because honestly, BFF and having that liquidity with BFF through all three of the P stables is going to be one of the mechanisms that helps guys stay stable later on, along with the Tropa and everything else. Yes, yeah, sir. Plus, there's exit liquidity for a lot of people. Like, if they want to exit, you know? It's like, yeah, pick, it, pick, your, pick your coin. Choose which one you want. And then, you know, choose the cheapest P stable and go ape that. <laughs> it's USDT, man. It's always going to be USDT. And there's a barrier for entry on that one, too. There's a lot of issues on the it guys. Seems, I've been watching the ratios, though. It does seem like they keep trending down against die. Um, just because people are so focused on P die right now. There, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of waiting on right now to get a better trade. Yeah, I wish Riggs. I think he was a, he came back up as a speaker, and he was gonna say he was gonna talk about the USDC USDT thing. Like, um, he has definitely found some really interesting information related uh, to both of them. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna speculate. Like, I, yeah, Richard's playing with. Richard's playing with USDC, right? I saw, I saw that one of his wallets was throwing him in the collateral for the votes and stuff. So Richard bought PUSDC and he's been playing with it. Well, we're going to see new versions, I think. And, and I'm not sure exactly how it's going to correlate to what's on-chain already. Like, if there'll be um, uh, bridges... Um, ways to, to swap like for the newer the newer versions but um but yeah like i said i, I don't even want to go there yet i don't even think Riggs, Riggs really wants to either but um yet but there's so many amazing things going on behind the scenes that like and all the connections haven't really been made but like i mean the the one we talked about, and he talked about a little bit, is just the way things were kind of wrapped up and hidden um, and labeled as as uh, phishing or scam. Um, but then when you you dive into them, you find all this uh, value locked in. Um, and then obviously, like definitely, you know, makers makers changing everything. Um, I just found a video. I need to, I need to post it up in some in some channels. Um, somebody posted the second video. If you guys haven't seen it, like the pegging for dummies, um, and then there's a second follow up today. I can't remember the dude's name. He has so few followers. I was shocked, but it's uh, the follow up. Yeah. So when I looked at that though, a video popped up about the Maker Endgame, and that's like really a thing. Like I need to find it and post it in some channels. Like Maker is is um, everything we know about Maker is is changing um, for sure, and uh, I, I we definitely don't know exactly what that means, like in total, but or or for Pulse Chain, but. Um, there's a lot of information out there like um, that's public. If you go to the MakerDAO forums and look up, uh, I think, Spark V2, um, I've shared those links a few times, um, and how they're going to do cross-chain, how they're changing their game with cross-chain. Um, and then even, you know, to the point of launching their own, their own new chain, it's, um, yeah, just... Just keep listening and and, and, uh, and pay attention. Like it's, I don't know about about the other two stables right now. I think P is definitely definitely safe. Like, um, I would I would wouldn't bet the farm on 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 USDC or USDT at, at right now. Like, I think they're gonna be used and but altered like i think um like with what rigs just found the last two days related to axiom and i don't know i don't know what i'm supposed to say he's he, i think he wants to get stuff totally clear before he puts it out but um yeah there's there's plays and in, involved there's things going on with, with all three of them for sure 
Well, if you look at if you look at them as like, don't think of a dollar peg. Like if that's your if that's, if you think they don't go to a dollar and peg, then don't look at them like that. But there's still crazy amounts of liquidity, ten plus million dollars of liquidity with these things. Yeah, that's so a like, really good. You can't point. not be bullish. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Like um, even if you don't think dollars, just eight. right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point too. Don't yeah be be careful about your targets and and don't think about it in dollars for sure. If you uh, are doing good risk management, there's still excess to be made there for sure. Yes, sir. I'm up two x on my BFF bat or uh, die bags so that I traded into BFF. I don't look at BFF as it's what fifty eight hundred. I don't look at that. I look at it. It's eight hundred and fifty five k a die. So like, you know, look at shit like that. It's a lot different. Definitely, the ratio is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I made a post like a while ago talking about. You know, oh, a trader, you know, die into BFF. Everyone kept giving me shit for it because it went down and then boop, now it's back up. Hey, does. Sorry, guys, my phone died. But, <laughs> hey, A lot of people are fucking really stupid, bro. We shouldn't give them no credence whatsoever. We've already proved ourselves. So, like, there was a bunch of us that just need to not listen to that anymore. And what do we have left? Yeah, like, time, I mean, time kills, bro. Time does kill. Dude, we've killed a whole year. So, I mean, how much more of a bull run do we have? Do we got a year? Do we got two years? I, I'm here, and I'm not okay. I'm not hearing it, but there's some there's some sentiment that I'm starting to feel out. Like there's there was one comment, but I felt that just before he said it. It really makes me want to say it to you guys, but it's like, so, okay, imagine the bull, whole bull run ends. We never moon, or we might moon a bit. But then something terrible happens. Or yeah. it's the bear market. But then we moon anyway. Pulse chain moons anyway. Everything and for the whole moon, bear market. The cycle's different. Like, we hit all different. time, Bitcoin hit all time high before the halving. That, that broke cycle. Like, so now what? Maybe we see a dog. We're also in a walled garden. Everything's yeah. different. Everything. Yeah. But like, you look at the market cap, I, I think everything. about it in terms of market cap, like three trillions, nothing. Like in terms of the money in the world, <laughs> I think Rig said, or somebody said like Apple, I think the market cap or the, the, the valuation of Apple is, is higher than, than, than crypto overall. Something like that. But like literally, like it's, we're, we're so tiny. And you look at all the money in it, um, yeah. and I don't know how they judge that. I mean, the market cap really is vanity. I mean, who knows how much money's really yeah. in crypto? Like, but well, did you do with your hard talk about you look at market cap, BlackRock right? and Vanguard talk, 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 and talk, talk, Donald talk, talk, Trump talk. and everybody else, man, and bricks. Like, if you don't know, that we're moving it, towards bro. crypto, and it's gonna fucking explode. Then, like, I don't know what you're doing here, like. What we have another year to a year and a half of positive pricing on major assets. But look, girlfriends like stuff that will always moon. Those things will always moon. Like we're, we're in a whole different level, bro. Like, we're in Richard Gabriel. Richard Gabriel has to say. Yeah, well, guy, Gabriel. Gabriel, start talking. You don't have to raise your hand. Yeah, Gabriel, Hey, no, it's just polite. Yeah, but Gabriel's like an you know, OG. <laughs> like, he can talk. <laughs> and so can you. Well, because mm. you've been around forever. And everyone can talk. Well, you know, this. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. Don't take okay, me to you, All right. Gabriel, man, what's up, bro? Oh, it's been a while. Um, what are you, what are you in right now? Yeah. Uh, well, I was gonna um, discuss um, the the concept of you know when you know Richard has always talked about hey, what's the best time to release something at the bottom of the bear market because everything goes up, and that makes sense. But there are greater forces that are taking our liberty away so there's a lot of yeah. um 
um, dynamics that, you know, Atropa was, you know, here you have Richard, he has a lot of Bitcoin, he doesn't get into Ethereum because it's, you know, it's got a lot of crappy elements to it, but then he evolved and he, it, well, first he tried to fight with Bitcoin um, developers to make something better and he found out that it was a losing battle and he put a lot of effort into it, a lot of money and he traveled all over the world. Then he went to Ethereum it, and his travels all over, he spoke to all the developers, all the people, talking to them, and he's very intelligent, so he was able to put together a lot of information very quickly and come up with concepts about, hey, what could we do or, or what needs to be done? And so then he goes ahead and says, well, no one else is going to do this, so I have to do it myself, and he starts to pull it together. So now we get to the point where, you know, um, we, we just to get into crypto... The whole purpose was to get out of the clutches of of these fiat bankers that you know suck all the value out and then just control us, and so you lost that in Bitcoin by you know all the pool you know you have three or four uh, pool mining pools that control everything, and then you know the groups anyway. The, the point is is that getting back to uh, Atropa and the um, I, I think the dynamics are based on what the world does. Now he has a lot of things in preparation. I think that one of the one of uh, when things start to crash in the traditional market, which we've got a lot of signs of that, but you know it can just go on with fake money for quite a long time. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of big things going on with oil, and you mentioned BRICS, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Brazil, Russia, India. China, um, South America, yeah. and in Saudi Arabia and Iran are part of it as well. So they're already, you know, selling things out. They're not using the dollar for U.S. dollar, the petrodollar, for oil, and so that also extends to commodities. So these are big, big things that are happening, and and so now we see just you know today they say that you know anybody who's got a hardware wallet they're they're locking down crypto because they're getting ready to introduce the central bank digital currencies well so the i think the dynamics are set up that once certain things happen then i think they'll release the dysnomia layer the dysnomia layer will give all this privacy and i i don't know if anybody's been looking at the chat but i put a list um claudia AI, the Opus version, the Pro version, yeah. it gave me a list of the things that um, dysnomia is might be set up to do. Now we, we we don't know. I mean, this is all speculation, but it's very interesting what it what it says. I don't want to interrupt you too much, but but, but Richard pretty no, go ahead. pretty much told us to use Claudia, for the, and we we did all our checks right, and Claudia was the one that came up with it. Those details that. You, Dude, you're the only one that it has that in their head. Nobody here knows what you're talking about about that. That, that Claudia shit, dude, is, is it, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's Claude Claude dot AI C L A D E dot Claude dot AI. Thank you. And to get to get the Opus to get the Opus version, you have to pay twenty dollars a month. But it is totally worth it. Oh, and it, that little bit, you were the one that had that little bit of extra too, and that's why it seemed a little different, and that's, it's funny how they do that. But, but, it, but during those times where we, we were getting those answers, I mean, holy fuck. Just, just think about the ratio of people that, that even understand what you're talking about. And most people here don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> like, because we, they weren't there when we were talking about it. So, yeah, well, um, it's hard. It's it, so hard I'm, to I'm just amazed. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah, it, it, it is a little bit. But, but back to the, the main point of when will, you know, um, Richard, and not just Richard, but Richard and all the whales and all the people that he's trained over the years with liquidity, you know, moving liquidity, you know, doing all these things, and people follow. So I think there's been a lot of training for, and, 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 you know, same thing with arbitrage bots. You know, everything is, like, set up. And um, so 
we're waiting for the basically the traditional market to crash and that pulls down bitcoin and they'll have some kind of go ahead yeah no you you're you're on point dude a lot of what like you're so you're so far beyond it we shouldn't even tell people that we're waiting for a market crash because it's it, that's not yet. It's a, it's in about a year because Richard's always going to follow the main market. Right? So when the main market is fucking everybody over, because look at what he's fighting against, dude. Look at what he said today. Richard doesn't talk for no reason. He sent a fuck ton of messages. Exactly. Today. Yes. He's talking about liberty. This is all about liberty. He's been talking about liberty from the beginning. Transactional liberty. And I think one of the things that happens with a market crash is people run to put their money into some safe haven and possibly he will take advantage of that flow and that will go when they see like if things start crashing and all of a sudden you start seeing these meme coins and these uh, you know all these different things popping off on Pulse Chain. Uh, who knows? Maybe everyone will run with their money to Pulse Chain because everything else is crashing. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Oh my God, bro. There's, there's too much work to be done to make that a reality. Just sitting on our asses right now and buying assets will yeah, not achieve that. That's We're only that. Okay. There's, Wait, there's, let's explore that real quick. Common let's do it. Oh, go ahead. That, uh -huh. um, that we're going to come last and that uh, yeah. we're going to have. Um, we, very good incentive we, we to draw people in, especially to yeah. decentralized stables that on an uh with backing from not only a trip but the many different not just, not just not just a stabilized dude, but but the the, the coins that we know who exist on ETH will be illegal. Oh, yes. Good point. Yeah. And it's already <clears throat> because of OFAC compliance, which is the office of yep. Biden, um, foreign, foreign, foreign entity control or something like that. And you could be a foreign, foreign entity. entity. Thank you. Richard's a foreign entity. Yeah, exactly. You could, they can say <laughs> anybody's a foreign entity. Exactly. Yeah. Good point. And so controlling that means that they can block your, you know, uh, whatever they want to block. And so then Pulse Chain would be the only free, no censorship um, <laughs> blockchain. And so only the key if we here, vote, all the key comes right down. I'm not an American, but only if we only if we make we support the Americans and they're they're we're gonna vote in Trump. It's not gonna be RFK. So the next president will be Trump or we are all fucked. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Well, you know what happened last wait, time, guys? <laughs> we fucking <laughs> made Trump president. It was supposed to be Hillary Clinton's time. We made yeah, Trump there's president. Some, there's some... Well, I, I could go really deep on that, and there's some great stuff there. Uh, uh, but I, uh, well, I'll just mention that, you know, a lot of the information talks about um, that there's a really big military control yep. behind the scenes, yep. but uh, a patriot, yep. a patriot military, but but Always. the um, the you know, but there's you know, there's cycles and these different things going on. It's just it's just so obvious the goofy things that Biden's doing. It's to a point where it's pissing people off, and they're realizing that this. <laughs> Democrat dream or this liberal direction or this woke direction, you know, ends in destruction. And so they're just pushing it to the limit so people can finally realize it. But back to the Atropa conversation, the one key to all this, you were saying, oh, we can't get these people to come into Pulse Chain and all this stuff. Well, guess what? If you have a perfect bridge and there's some, and you guys were talking about it earlier, and I want to learn more about it. There is some secret bridge that, and it's been noted in, in different tokens, in some of the information in the tokens, about a secret bridge. And if you can make it one-to-one, -one and you don't have to go through a smart, I don't know exactly how they would do it, but if you had a bridge that was like instant and perfect and, and did all these things, um then it would make it possible for people to jump over to Pulse Chain. What were people talking... Someone was talking about this bridge with, with um, stables or something. What, what were you guys talking about? 
that 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 initial bridge, the secret bridge that RH or we'll call OA RH was using, was uncovered. We shouldn't really talk about it too much, but they were certainly bringing in funds in a different way. Then nobody will ever be able to understand it, so it doesn't really matter that we speak about it now. But then uh, the advent of the spark swap came in, and that's where Riggs comes in with his his statements about SDI and and the ETH purchase of, of the with the SAC funds, right? And this is why RG three got involved in the first place because I mean we some of us were able to verbalize to the right people what was going on. We are in a weird situation. Okay, what is the when, spark thing? That spark swap shit with the S die stuff. You, you, you're gonna have to, I'm, gonna, right I'm gonna get you to go. I'm gonna get you to go to this portal. So go to t.me slash pulse trends. Let me look it up. I'm stupid. I'm sure it's pulse trends. And they just wait for them to accept you into the group, and and they will. But just wait, and then and. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so Richard's been using certain things to bring in funds secretly to Pulse Chain. Fuck Maxis, they don't need to know this because they're traitors to the mission. <clears throat> Except for the ones that we have deemed worthy. <laughs> These guys, man, they have yeah, been, been speaking to you for that, months. But, uh, you, y'all yeah, wasn't slide, but next week, definitely uh, hop back in here and do the same thing. Jeez. Come there's, back, bro. Come back, there's bro. Two pulse there's two Pulse Trans Portal. Or, which could Pulse Trans 2? Which one is it? 2 is the backup. Yeah, it's Go a the portal. First it's a bot. You have to um, so wait. Order through. Just wait. Yeah, it's a bot, but also just wait. Tells me to DM the secret agent guy. Oh uh, yeah, that's fine too. That's yeah, he's like the uh, admin of of the uh, portal and the entries. They up their security a lot, and then um, added uh, like a Discord style um, subtopic type channel. But there was just so much info that needed to be broken down into like subtopics. So it's one of those channels with <clears throat> with a bunch of topics, but they also really up their. Of, uh, security.